Well, welcome back to Piers Morgan on Sense. For those who think cancel culture is real, no further than Britain's strictest headmistress, Catherine Burblesing. She runs the Michaela Community School, a deprived part of North London. The school focuses on discipline and manners. It's called boot camp discipline. Detentions given for lateness, for eye rolling, for tutting, for forgetting to bring in a pen. Quite right, too, you might think. But not everyone shares that. You've said to me, you really want to be at this school. You've said to me that you understand why the rules are here and why you need to behave yourself. I can't fix this. Mr. Bullock can't fix it. Who's going to fix it? Me, miss. You're the only one who can fix it. Your mum and dad would be so disappointed. Well, Catherine Burblesing, I'm done. Thank you for coming in. It's great to, to have you on the show. Um, you've been at the centre of news again because you invited Jordan Peterson, who I interviewed yesterday, and we're running it in full next week. But we're going to run in a moment, or in a few minutes, a little bit more of that interview about you and the visit, actually, to the school, which led to you having people report you to the police for hate crimes simply for allowing Jordan Peterson to come to your school which says everything you need to know about the absurdity of modern society and cancel culture. We'll come to that part of this in a moment. First of all, you're the tiger headmistress. What does that mean? What is your teaching style, if you were to define it simply? Well, we believe that the adults should be the authority in the room. Parents and teachers uh, should be in charge. Um, and that means leading the learning, it means desks being in rows and the children looking to the teacher who, who leads the way. Um, it means high standards of discipline. So people think, oh, you know, I must hate children because um, I... and then I must walk down the corridors with whips and chains. When, when actually, you know, I'm in school every morning at 6.45 and I don't do that because I hate them, it's because I love them. Mm. And I know what they need to be able to succeed. They don't need phones. No, well, and, and that's another thing. So we wouldn't allow them phones. But in fact, we go more than just, we don't just ban them in school. We strongly encourage parents not to give their children smartphones at all. Mm. You can give your child a brick phone. Uh, you can still ring them. You can still text them. But they're not getting unsupervised access to the internet. Uh, so you, yeah. pra you practice tough love teaching, for want of a better phrase. Yeah. Why has it attracted any controversy? I mean, your results are outstanding. Yes. You take a lot of very deprived kids yes. who don't have any privilege in their lives. Yes. You just had 98% pass rate in your GCSEs, I think. Yes. Many at A-star level. Yes. So you're doing an amazing job yes. helping these kids achieve their potential. And yet there are people out there who will be listening to this now going, this sounds horrible, terrible, this woman's evil. Yeah. How have we got to this place? Well, I, I think people think it's mean to give children detentions and to discipline them. But the thing is, is that if you don't do that, then the children will just spin out of control. Yes. And I'll tell you what's mean. It's living your life uh, functionally enumerate and functionally illiterate. And there are lots of people who end up doing that because school didn't do the right job by them and hold their standards high for them. Are too many schools just too soft? And is the softness coming from being terrified of this new culture again where people say if you do anything to do with discipline then you're bullying you're racist whatever the excuse they can think of to play the victim they play it hard and teachers just get scared they don't want to have to operate in that environment yeah and i don't think that they're just scared i think all of our society really uh encourages us to think like this so in order for a head teacher to, to do things properly, in my view, you've got to be quite brave to stand up to the mob. I mean, for instance, I invited Jordan Peterson to come and just walk around the school and see the school, just as we have 600 other visitors who come and see the school. Of all different year. persuasions, politically and exactly. socially and everything else. Exactly. Because you believe, presumably, that actually the best education is to have a wide range of different people with different views. Yeah. But you know this is completely going out of fashion in our education system. Yeah, that's Universities right. now... They if you deviate even one iota to the right, you get no platform, you get shamed, there are protests going on. Yes. This kind of woke cancel culture is out of control. Yeah, and so that's why, as a head teacher, you've got to be quite brave. And that's, I think it's a little unreasonable in a way to ask that of, of ordinary people who are just trying to do a job. Mm -hmm. Teachers, my own teachers, for instance, I have to really support them emotionally because they come to work at our school and their friends question their decision to do that. They wonder what they're doing. Um, are they actually, do they not know who they really are? Um, and, 
and I have to support my teachers. And they say, well, how can I convince my friends that I'm not a bad person? I mean... But this is completely <laughs> insane. I know. <laughs> You're having to, to comfort your staff who are working in a highly driven, motivated environment, which is successful, with happy, successful children coming out better than they go in. And you're having to help your staff because they're being treated so badly by their own friendship groups because they're working in this environment. It's, I know. it's nuts. I know. And the thing is, is that those people say that they want to help deprived children. And here we are transforming mm. their lives. And yet they're highly critical. And there's some of them who would really like to see us shut down.